Spark plugs. They play a very vital role in the well-being and health of your engine, and they're generally overlooked when servicing your vehicle. When you're buying privately in second-hand cars, it's a complete unknown. You don't know when the last time the spark plugs were changed unless there's a service history. And even then, they're quite vague on if it has or hasn't been changed. So it's a good preventative maintenance that once you bought the car, you then service them by replacing the spark plugs with new ones. So first of all, open the bonnet. Now we're replacing the spark plugs on our Mazda 3 MPS. It has a top mount intercooler and so to gain access to the top of the engine, we'll need to remove this. To remove the intercooler, there's just a couple nuts, hose clamps to remove and loosen. We also had to remove the bypass valve to gain access to one of the hose clamps. Now that we've got the intercooler out of the way, undo the bolts, securing the coil packs to the rocket cover. Then you can go ahead and remove the coil packs. Now with your ratchet, remove the spark plugs. Now a handy tip if you don't have a spark plug remover tool is using a vacuum line or some sort of hose that you have laying around. Comparing the new and old spark plugs, you can tell the old one is very corroded and in dire need of replacement. When putting in the new spark plugs, always tighten to the manufacturer's specification. Cross-threading or over-tightening them can cause severe damage and be quite costly to fix. Now that the new spark plugs are in, you can put everything back together. Thanks for watching this episode of Project B. If you like what you've seen, please hit that like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.